Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition bug slash glitch video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very simple, very compact gravity block duplication machine. Now, I have done a couple of videos on this before. I wanted to do an improved design purely for the fact last time I did this, I forgot a major feature allowing you to do even more blocks on this farm. So, yeah, the designs that I showcased before were made by a good friend, Mr. Cool Dogs. They were both really, really good designs, but we didn't know at the time that end gateways can actually only carry or like take one block per second, if that makes sense. So anything over that is just overkill. And obviously the previous design did like, like four blocks a second or something like that. This means we can pretty much quarter it and use a bunch less materials. So yeah, that being said, let's jump straight on into the video. Okay, so we should have left it long enough for a few to go through. I mean, I'm just going to go through with an ender pearl. You could set up some kind of like water so you could uh, like dive through or whatever. But for the most part, I'm just going to like go like this. And here we go. So yeah, we got a bunch of anvils. Of course, anvils are probably the best item you can uh, dupe on this farm. Although you can dupe like loads of stuff. So as you just saw, we can duplicate anvils with this farm. That does obviously mean we can duplicate the slightly damaged anvils. I mean, like, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you, you can do it if you really want. And yes, that does mean you can also duplicate the very damaged anvils. I mean, yeah, again, if you really want to. More importantly, this farm allows us to duplicate any color of concrete powder, whereas the other two designs that I showed didn't allow us to do that. So yeah, this is a massive improvement from the last two designs. Obviously, we're going to be able to duplicate normal color sand and orange sand. And the final item we can duplicate on this farm is gravel. Now, due to the mechanics of the game, scaffolding cannot get pushed by pistons without being broken. As you can see, it just breaks straight away. So that means, unfortunately, we cannot duplicate scaffolding using this farm. But to be fair, the scaffolding thing is not the end of the world. So yeah, let me show you the items you're going to need. So item number one, you are going to need a fresh end gateway. Another great feature of this farm, you actually won't need to destroy any of the bedrock. So yeah, that's just like an added bonus. Next, you're going to need one redstone torch. You're going to need one redstone repeater. Bring yourself one lever, one piece of redstone dust. Bring yourself one normal piston, one bucket of water, two pieces of string. This is very important. Well, as long as you want to be able to do concrete powder. If you don't want to do concrete powder, then you don't need the string. But I mean, it's two pieces of string. And finally, 13 solid blocks of choice, as long as they're not redstone blocks. Just make sure they're just like a normal block. I am going to pick the white concrete. One thing that wasn't in the shulker box is two walls. You're going to need two walls, any walls. It doesn't really matter what walls. I've gone for the new polished deep slate wall. After you've got all of your items, you want to go ahead and grab your walls. Go ahead and uh, it doesn't really matter what side you do this and place two walls in these locations like so. After that, you're going to want to grab your piston, go up like this, place your piston so it's facing upwards and that is the second step complete. From here, what you're going to want to do is put three blocks on the edge like so and then simply grab your white concrete and kind of like barricade it in because this is where the water is going to go. Of course, you actually like don't need these corner blocks. Now, all you're going to want to do is place your bucket of water there. Place one piece of string there and your final piece of string there. Like I said, this is just going to allow us to place concrete powder. Whereas if the string wasn't there, it would just turn straight into concrete nearly done all we need to do is add a redstone clock and for that we're gonna place a block there underneath the piston a holder block here a block underneath that block remove the holder block in fact you shouldn't have removed the holder block just yet place another block there and then remove the holder block like so finally you're gonna want to place a holder block underneath there and a block there remove the holder block and we're actually ready to place our redstone first of all place a lever on the front like so then we're going to go ahead, place our repeater facing that way. And we're going to go ahead and click it one, two times. After that, we're going to place a piece of redstone here and a redstone torch at the front like so. Straight away, this machine should start working. Of course, then you can go and flick the switch and it will turn off. Let me show you. Ah, no. Well, that was dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in the video. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back in one second. 
Oh, damn. I can't believe I died. But yeah, let's just go through. Um, yeah, let me just uh, go into survival here. Let's uh, make things a little bit quickly, right? And here we go. We've got seven pieces in the short amount of time that it was actually on. So yeah, there it is. How to make a very simple gravity block duplication machine. I will catch you on the next one.